to Ghost Pirate Entertainment. I'm your host, Kanan Becker, and today we talk about 10 amazing movies from this year that most people have missed. And with that, let's get to the list. Now that was rock and roll. Stop. Just be cool. And don't murder anyone else. Destroy All Neighbors is a comedy horror movie. Directed by Josh Forbes, it stars Alex Winter, Jonah Ray, and Kieran Deal. A struggling prog rock musician finds himself in a living nightmare when he accidentally kills a neighbor from hell. I think we're living next to some kind of maniac. I am now living in your just head. Red free. Blood is just driving me crazy. Oh, you're headed into chaos. What? Blood will be spilled. This is such a fun movie. It's a stupid movie. It's definitely not one that you take serious at all. But it gets really bloody and gruesome in a fun way. And Alex Winter is absolutely unrecognizable in this role. But he kills it. He is fantastic. It's just a very fun movie. It's a perfect pick for anyone who's a fan of horror comedy. So you should definitely give this one a look. What You Wish For is a horror thriller written and directed by Nicholas Tomne. It stars Nick Stahl, Thompson Topolsky, and Randy Vasquez. A down-on-his-luck chef with gambling problems flees to a South American villa where he assumes the identity of another man. This is not a perfect movie by any means. It is a fairly low budget film, but I think it's surprisingly fun. It's a lot more quirky and weird than I expected, especially because the way it sets it up, but it gets darker and more disturbing as it goes. But there's a sense of humor about the whole thing as well. But I think Nick Stahl, once again, just kills it in this movie. I've really been enjoying him in a lot of stuff lately. It's twisted and keeps you on the edge of your seat as you're just trying to figure out what's going to happen next. But I think this is a really entertaining movie that nobody's talking about and one you should absolutely check out. Life's is a black comedy horror movie. Directed by Tesh Kutakonda, it stars Amanda Fix, Matthew McColl, and Brenna Lou Ellen. The survival instincts of a road tripping family are put to the test when they have no other choice but to stay the night at a remote homestead. Well, well, we ain't had genuine visitors here in years. Maybe we could just use your telephone? We got gas, honey. This was one of the more surprising movies so far this year because it's done by Tubi. It's a Tubi original. And to this point, Tubi originals have not been very good. And to be honest, at the beginning of this movie for the first probably 15 minutes or so, I was like, well, here we go again. But then it takes uh, some twists and turns and some things happen and I started to realize that it wasn't what I expected it to be. And I didn't realize that this was done by the same filmmaker, Tesh Kutakonda, that did Influencer. So if I'd known that, I would have probably expected more from this movie. The whole cast do a really good job in this as well. I really enjoy the pacing and just the whole way this movie unfolds. There's lots of little surprises that I thought were great. But this isn't a game changer, it's just a fun little horror movie, but one that I think you could really have a good time with. Infested is a French creature feature horror movie. Directed by Sebastian Vanisek, it stars Theo Christine, Jerome Neal, and Sophia Lefri. Residents of a rundown French apartment building battle against an army of deadly, rapidly reproducing spiders. So far this year, this is probably my favorite of the creature feature type of horror movies, especially the ones that are flying under the radar. Because we had A Quiet Place Day One, 
But that was such a big, you know, Hollywood type of horror movie that I don't really classify it in the same realm as, as say, this movie. But this little film genuinely gave me the willies. It really got under my skin, pardon the pun. Like these spiders, the way they're shot, the way it develops, there's so much about it where it feels real until it doesn't. And I think when a movie does that, it, it works for me. Because a lot of times with these creature features, especially with spiders, it's just like zero to a hundred almost instantly. It's like right away there are a ton of spiders everywhere. They're wild, all that. This movie, it starts out in a realm of reality. These spiders look real. Like the first one that he gets, it looks like an actual spider. And then it just kind of little by little, it gets, you know, it, it starts to become more and more of a problem until it's just an absolute nightmare. But the way this movie shot, the cast, everything about it, was exciting, very entertaining, and extremely well done. So well done, in fact, that Sebastian Vanasek, the director of this, I'm probably not pronouncing the name right, but he's gonna direct one of the next Evil Dead movies. So I'm really excited to see what he can do with that. But this is a chilling, really well executed horror movie and one that I highly recommend. Darkness is a British horror thriller directed by Andrew Cummings in his feature-length debut. It stars Safia Oakley Green and Chuku Madu. In the Stone Age, a desperate group of early humans band together to find a new land. But when they suspect a malevolent mystical being is hunting them, the clan are forced to confront a danger they had never imagined. <laughs> I've talked about this movie a couple times on the channel because I just really wish more people would see it. And for a list like this, there's no way I could ignore this because I genuinely believe this is one of the best horror movies this year that absolutely no one is talking about. And I get it because it does subvert your expectations some. And I think if you go into this just expecting a supernatural kind of horror movie, you might be disappointed, but if you just go into this and watch it for what it is and think about it from a point of view of early humans and what we went through and what humans had to figure out in order to survive, I think it would have much more of an impact, but it's incredibly well shot and directed. The acting is great. And even if some of you might have problems with the haircuts or things like that, I think if you put that stuff aside and just watch it and enjoy it for what it is, I think it's a really solid watch. But it's one of the ones that made me think the most after watching it. Like it really just stuck in my head even to now. I still love the ideas and concepts and things that are put on display in this movie. So if you enjoy slow burn artsy movies that make you think and stick with you after the fact, I think you absolutely need to see this one. You must never feel what happens when it takes on a life of its own. Stop Motion is a British live action animated horror movie. Co-written and directed by Robert Morgan, it stars Ashling Francosi, Tom York, and Carolyn Springall. A stop motion animator struggles to control her demons after the loss of her overbearing mother. Who's coming? The man no one wants to meet. The Ashman. This was one of the first movies this year that I really appreciated and enjoyed and really highly recommended. I was fortunate enough to see this in theaters and I think it had even more of an impact because of that. But it's twisted and weird. It's so uncomfortable. It gets gross and cringy at times and absolutely disturbing. Just the way they do the stop motion in this, the way the little guys look, they're so gross and creepy because they're made out of meat and they just look wet and slimy all the time. But I also love how heady this movie is and how it's really a psychological thriller in its bones as well. But it's a dark, 
weird, uncomfortable, atmospheric movie. And that definitely isn't going to be for everyone. But I think if that's the kind of movies that you usually enjoy, then this is one you absolutely have to see. Who are you hiding from? You'll Never Find Me is an Australian horror movie written and directed by Indiana Bell and Josiah Allen. It stars Brendan Rock, Jordan Cohen, and Elena Carpetis. A strange and lonely man lives in a mobile home park, and during a violent storm, a mysterious young woman appears at his door seeking shelter from the elements. I'd really need a lift into town. I'll take you there when the weather lets up. This is one that I think is an absolute travesty, how little I've heard anyone talk about it. It just dropped on Shudder. I didn't hear any fanfare going in. I didn't know anything about it. I just watched it. I had a couple people mention it and be like, hey, this is a cool movie. You should check it out. And so I did, and I was just floored. This is really one of my favorites so far this year. It's a twisted, psychological, strange little movie that definitely keeps you guessing, makes you so uncomfortable, like you just feel dirty when you're watching this movie. But it has some really great payoffs. It really is the definition of a slow burn. But I think it's really well shot and directed. The cast do a phenomenal job. Just everything about this is what I love in little indie horror movies. So if you're looking for a chilling, demented movie to get under your skin, this is a great pick. Was someone else very far away on the other side of a television screen? I saw the TV Glow is a psychological drama horror movie written and directed by Jane Schoenbrunn. It stars Justice Smith and Bridget Lundy Payne. Two teenagers bond over their love of a supernatural TV show, but it is mysteriously canceled. Maddie. It was a TV show. Are you sure that's all it was? I had so many mixed emotions after seeing this movie because it's beautifully shot, really creative, really artsy. Just some of the visuals and, and things that it does are really unique and I thought were very thought provoking. It's also really experimental. It's done by the same filmmaker that did We're All Going to the World's Fair, which was another very experimental movie. I think this one's less experimental and has more of a story to it, whereas that one was really slow and it was really a mood piece. There wasn't a ton of story to it. But this is something that's really hard to follow. It's really layered and it has a really deep message to it that I'm not gonna lie, I didn't fully grasp in my first watch. But after the fact, I had a few people I talked to that I trust that it explained a few things to me and what the real meaning of this movie is. And it hit me so hard because I understood what was going on here so much more. But it's really well performed. Justice Smith especially is phenomenal in this movie. But it is a very strange, hard to follow at times, slow burn, art house kind of film that's absolutely not for everyone. But if this sounds intriguing to you, then I think this is an experience definitely worth having. The Coffee Table is a Spanish black comedy horror movie. Directed by Kay Casas, it stars David Pereja and Estefania de los Santos. Jesus and Maria are a couple going through a tough time in their relationship. Nevertheless, they have just become parents. So as a symbol of their new life to come, they decide to buy a coffee table, a decision that will change their existence. Que esta mesa, por diseño y por su nivel, les va a cambiar la vida a mejor. Les va a aportar felicidad al hogar. So when I recommended this last time, I've had a couple people that were really disgusted and bothered and kind of upset at me for recommending this. So maybe I didn't warn those people enough. I'm not sure, but this is a very, very bleak, very, very dark, upsetting kind of movie. 
It's not fun by any means. It's not an enjoyable kind of experience at all. It's one that will get under your skin and bother you. And that's the whole point of what they're doing here. And it's not gonna be for everyone. Some people may not even find this to be disturbing. Some people may not find it, you know, bothersome or whatever. But at least for me, and I know for a lot of other people that have seen this, that I've talked to, this is a really demented, very disturbing concept and idea that's presented here. But it's really well performed, well directed, well written. It's a simple concept, a simple movie, but extremely well executed. But don't get mad at me for recommending this. I'm warning you now, this is definitely not gonna be for everyone. I just think it's an extremely well done movie and deserves to be seen by the right audience. But I think it's one of the best movies this year. Not the most fun, not the most rewatchable or any of that, but best put together film this year. As I've always believed, there's nothing that can't be explained. Oddity is a supernatural horror movie written and directed by Damian McCarthy. It stars Carolyn Bracken, Willem Lee, and Tang Murphy. It's about a blind medium who tries to uncover the truth behind her sister's death with the help of her psychic abilities. Why do you want it? He took my sister's life. I had such a great time with this. It's such a bummer to me that it was in theaters for such a short time. I mean, I think it was just a week, maybe two, but not a lot of people got a chance to see this on the big screen. And that is such a bummer to me. I don't understand. Shudder usually puts them out there for longer than this. But this was the first movie in a long, long, long time. I mean, many, many, many years that actually got me. I'm not saying it's the scariest movie ever made or that it's gonna get everyone. But for me personally, the way it's set up, it's not that it's the most original or any of that, but everything about the way they do things, the timing, the pacing, the setup, the atmosphere, it's very chilling. And like I said, it really genuinely got me a couple times. It looks so creepy and there's all these different little curio items and and things from her shop because she runs an oddity shop and it's really really fun each one of them has a creepy element to them especially this big you know doll guy thing that just sits there it's just always present in the in the shots it doesn't do anything it just sits there but it always gives this unsettled this creepy, unnerving feeling to every scene because of its presence. But this goes in a lot of fun directions and it's one I just can't wait for the rest of you guys to see. But it's not a game changer, but just a good time. And one that I highly, highly recommend. And I wanna give a massive, huge, enormous thank you to the ghost pirate crew to you guys over on patreon and to the channel members over here you guys mean so 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 much to me and if you would like to help this channel over on patreon there's a link down in the description or you can become a channel member by clicking on the join button down there but like always thank you so much for watching please crush that like button and remember guys Horror can be fun. And if you enjoyed this, click right here to watch me talk about 10 brilliant movies right now on Tubi. And I'll see you guys next time.